Hello YouTubers, Rongaki Jr. here, and in today's video I am bringing you guys an OBS settings tutorial video. And now I've gotten quite a few requests to make an OBS settings tutorial video, uh, because I do think that a lot of people want to know what settings I use to record my gameplay. Um, I've used a lot of software, I've used Fraps, I've used DxTory, I've used Nvidia Shadowplay, I've used an Elgato capture card, and by far I love OBS the most because you can have the most customizable uh, options out of pretty much all the softwares, although I know Elgato is getting a lot of customization options on it, but I mean, an Elgato capture card is upwards of $150, as for OBS is free, and speaking of which, I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to go download the software, and um, so that so that you guys can go download it and get started with the, to the tutorial right now. Uh, something to note, I won't be showing you guys how to actually get multiple audio lines as it would drag the video on a little bit too long, but if it is something that interests you guys uh, to see how to get multiple audio lines and just make your editing life so much easier, uh, I would be glad to make one. Just let me know in the comments down below if that is something you guys want to see and I will be happy to make one. Also, I am making uh, this video because I want you guys to use this information to actually record your gameplay if you want to send it in for the Battlefield 1 coaching series as it is something that I do like making but I don't get enough footage for. Uh, so hopefully this will help you see how to record your, your game footage for free. So uh, without further ado, let's get the tutorial started. Now, uh, obviously you guys won't have all these scenes right here, but this is something we're going to get to a little bit later. First, you're going to want to go in the settings. Now, obviously I have the dark theme and uh, I like it just, I just like it better than the, the classic theme. Um, and there's obviously another one you can use right here, but I just like the dark theme a lot more. But we're not going to stay in the general tab because this is not the important part of the video. I'm not going to show the streaming either. I am simply going to show you guys the recording and a couple of other things that I'm going to show you guys. So uh, let me just take a drink of water here. Because talking a lot does make your throat quite parched. Now, the type that you're going to want to use is standard, and you're going to want to go into the advanced output mode, because if you go simple, there's not a whole lot you can change, so you're going to want to go to advanced, and then standard, and your recording path, so this is where all your footage will be saved. So go ahead and browse and put it on whatever hard drive you want, just right click new to make a folder, and then just call it whatever, like for me, test folder, so we're just going to use that and see gaming videos test folder. So everything's gonna record to there. Now, uh, this is usually just unchecked general file name without space. Uh, I, I, there's no point to really having that. So the recording format that you want. So there are many, many recording formats, uh, FLV, MP4, MOV, MKV, TS, and M3U8. Now the one I prefer using is MP4 because it is the video file that allows you to have multiple audio lines. Now obviously uh, in this video I'm not showing you guys how to have multiple audio lines so we're just going to use, um, well we're actually going to use one and two because your mic can obviously be a different audio line since it's not an input device. Uh, encoder, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to use the NVENCH.264 encoder. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, uh, just go ahead and it's probably going to be X264, so that is the uh, .264 codec. Rescale output, I don't change it unless you want to record in higher resolutions uh, than your monitor can handle or lower resolutions because you can go down to like 720p if you don't you think the video files are too big for your hard drives or your computer just can't handle the quality that you're throwing at it. Now for the rate control. Now there are many uh, different types of rate control you can have here. So I use CQP. I think it's the best one. Uh, you can also have CBR which is the bit rate but I just use CQP and I put it at 20. It gives you good quality for good file size. Um, so that's what I set it as. So that's pretty much all that you have to do in the recording tab. Now we're going to move on to audio. So obviously sample rate, just leave it at 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, that is the default audio settings. And desktop audio device, you're going to want to put whatever your headset is. So uh, just put it to like, my, my headset would be like speakers, headphones. And then your mic auxiliary device is whatever you're recording your audio mic audio with so obviously mine is the uh, Yeti stereo microphone so you can just leave it like that and then you will have um, your audio lines set up already so you're gonna have one audio line for your incoming sound and then one for your uh, microphone so moving on to the video tab uh, there's not a whole lot you want to change here just leave the base canvas resolution at 
1980 and also the output scale resolution 1920 1080 uh, downscale filter I didn't change that Langsos is just fine and the common FPS values I put them to 60 because I recorded 60 FPS and I make my videos at 60 FPS so that's what you're gonna want to set it as if you are actually making 60 FPS videos if not if it's too much for your computer you just put it at 30 FPS which is d equally fine I mean you might see the, the difference a little bit uh, but if your computer can't handle it um, obviously 60 FPS might be a little bit too much and then we get to the hotkeys this you can put whatever you want there are so many different hotkeys you can choose from it is just insane I only have like four hotkey setups so uh, start recording and start streaming quite simple very very effective and here uh, for the advanced tab now um, I didn't change anything here uh, I literally didn't change anything. Uh, the, the the one thing that you might want to change is like the process priority. Uh, if you want it to run at a high priority in your processes or idle or something like that, I just leave it at normal. I have a pretty good computer, so I don't really have to mess around with this stuff. But um, if you want it to run at high uh, because you want your PC to actually uh, make OBS run, over like something else or have the highest priority and like if if your game is taking up too much processing power it will just make it so that your game will run less well to actually have OBS running properly so I would just leave it at normal and uh, there's not a whole lot you want to do there and then the uh, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a scene now obviously like I said you guys won't have all these scenes here so you can just uh, put a scene I'm just going to put test like this and then you're gonna to want to add sources. So if you want to capture your your games, what you're gonna to want to click is Game Capture, and then you can just uh, create new Game Capture three, and then capture any full screen application. It will capture anything that you throw at it. So if anything that you have full screen, uh, it's gonna capture it. But if if you want to uh, like record your web browser or something like that, that's not gonna work. I'll show you guys how to do that after. And then uh, you can decide to capture cursor, limit fr capture frame rate and stuff like that. I just leave it all as is and click OK. Now, uh, make sure that when you have that, uh, the game capture thing, right click here and actually, no, I, I, you see I didn't even click it right. So right now there's nothing you're going to be able to capture because you're going to want to go here and go scale, uh, transform, sorry, and go fit the screen. So you're going to want the uh, red rectangle around your black uh, monitor right now. Uh, because by default it's gonna set it like this so if you record uh, you're gonna have like no footage it's gonna be a black screen with only sound so right click on on your source that you just created go transform and then go fit the screen and make sure it is like that because if not you're gonna be pissed that you recorded so much and actually didn't get anything out of the footage uh, so make sure that you do that and now for uh, the if you want to just capture your display so all you have to do is display capture add the source and just go OK and again you're gonna want to go scale filtering uh, tra sorry transform and fit the screen and then you're gonna be able to see your display right now I have it uh, disabled just because I don't want like the the weird ass effect of it uh, so that's all you're gonna want to do if you want to capture your display you you can restart OBS and it'll show afterwards. Uh, next thing I want to show you guys is the mixer settings. So advanced properties, if you want to have uh, your mic and your desktop audio on different audio lines, uh, usually you're going to have all of them checked like this. So you're going to have all of them checked one through six. What you're going to want to do is just have them uh, independently. So I'm just going to redo what I had before like this. So uh, my mic is on track one and my desktop audio two is on track two. Obviously I have three audio lines, but you guys will only have two. So it's gonna make it so that your mic is separate from your desktop audio. Always have it like this, uh, because if not, they're gonna be like overlaid and you're just gonna have the same track twice. So you're gonna have your desktop audio and your mic in the same track, but you're just gonna have it twice. So make sure that your mic is set to track one and your desktop audio is set to track two. So that's pretty much all you need to know to capture your uh, gameplay footage on your PC. It's very simple and like, uh, as I said, uh, OBS is pretty much like the best software you can use to capture your footage. It's so easy uh, after you've got it set up. It's so easy to use 
and it is free, as I said, and it's just such a powerful program that, and you're not going to get a whole lot of FPS drops uh, in your games. It's still going to run really good. If you have a decent PC, of course, it's going to run superb, and you're not going to have any FPS drops in game, and you're going to get some pretty decent game footage. So uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions regarding anything that I covered. I know I speak kind of fast, uh, but feel free to rewatch the video if you guys uh, didn't catch didn't like get any, everything that I said and pause and all that stuff. Um, so these are obviously the best settings that I found. And uh, let me know also if you guys want to see that video for the multiple audio lines like I have. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notify bell. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.